Hello, Brian Hogg here, creator of Event Calendar Newsletter, and I want to give a quick demo on how to send featured events, uh, either automatically or very quickly manually, using the Event Calendar Newsletter plugin for WordPress and MailChimp. So I have a couple events. I'm using uh, the Events Calendar by Modern Tribe plugin, uh, but there's a few other calendars you can use. And I've got a couple events, uh, one's like a tasting and one uh, welcome to the neighborhood, nice little pun. And I want to feature this tasting event, uh, but right now there's no categories, no tags set. Uh, and even if I did, uh, it might not be set as a featured. So uh, one way I can do this by adding a featured tag. So if I go edit and then under tags, I'm gonna add featured. And this is basically to give me a way to select this event as kind of a featured event in uh, the newsletter. So if I go update, and it's been updated. So now if we look at the events, we have the featured tag here. So using event calendar newsletter, you can either create uh, an independent newsletter or you can add these events to an existing newsletter you're sending out. And you can specify how far in the future, so maybe we just want a couple weeks. And here you can see that tag that we added, the featured tag. So if I don't pick that and just kind of scroll down and generate the newsletter, you'll see both events show up. So that's not what I want, just to highlight that featured event. So if I scroll back up, select featured, and generate the newsletter, there you go. It's adding uh, that event and only that event because it's featured. So now if I say, uh, I can save this as one template. So if I say featured, uh, events next two weeks, just so I know what it is, and say save. Great, that's been saved as a template. Now if I view save templates, you can see we've got the title we added, and now we've got this feed URL, which you would use to automate it, or even this MailChimp merge tags if we want to kind of inject or embed the events uh, from that are featured in the next two weeks into our MailChimp campaign. So to show how that works, I'll just uh, select this, copy it over, and then in an existing campaign or maybe a new email campaign in MailChimp, I could drag a new uh, text block or maybe add it to an existing one and then paste that feed block that I copied uh, from Event Calendar Newsletter. So now if I save that and it, it won't show any events because it's just showing this kind of MailChimp code, but if I go to preview, Sure enough, it automatically pulls the featured events from the next two weeks uh, using our template. So if I want to customize it, so instead of showing text, maybe I just want to show the image for the event. Maybe you've done a poster image or something uh, which has all the details kind of in the image. So I can go to view. In order to edit this template, you can see it's got all the options that we specified before. And instead of this kind of default uh, template, I'll remove everything except the link. And then I can actually add in the event image by selecting event image, insert. You can see that link is there. Uh, there's also a link URL tag, which I could use to specify uh, or to add a link around the image. Uh, the easiest way to do this is in text. So here I'll kind of remove that header stuff that was there. I can add a link here and actually just select this, go to link. And then the URL is just the link URL tag for event calendar newsletter. So I'll add that link. And uh, WordPress kind of adds this HTTP, but the link URL will already have it in there. So I'll take that out. So now if I generate the newsletter events, we can see we've got our image here. Uh, it's a bit larger because you can actually specify that in the settings, uh, but I'll just save the template here. And again, just to kind of show, the image size can be selected using the settings. So I've selected a larger image because if it's a poster, we might want to have it a bit bigger. So now if I go back into here and refresh, sure enough, we get our image and a link, and the image also has a link to the event. One other thing we could do to promote this event, this featured event, is to have a reminder uh, go in. So instead of just adding it to an existing newsletter, we could have it send uh, the featured event 
uh, maybe within the next two days if there is one. So what we can do with that is actually create uh, one more save template. So I'll keep featured, I'll keep the link and everything else, but what I'll do is I'll specify two days in the future instead. So if I generate that, and sure enough, we can see this featured event uh, because it happens to be within the next two days. And then if I save this as a template, a new one, so featured events next two days, save that. Go into my view save templates. So I can see the new one here next two days. And now instead of just using the merge tags, uh, what I can do is create uh, what's called an RSS campaign within MailChimp. So if I copy this feed URL, go into MailChimp, this is the dashboard you see when you first sign in, and then go to create campaign and pick RSS campaign. And when prompted, you need to specify the RSS feed URL, which will just be this feed URL from the featured events next two days. So I'll do that. And then I'll specify to send every day at whatever time you think is best. Uh, probably 9, 15 or 10 is good. And we'll say it's always these two days. Uh, but by default, MailChimp will only send if A, there is a new event. And then also if it's an event that it hasn't sent out yet. So you can see under this feed event date, we have default. And you can either set it to today's date which will always make MailChimp think that it's a new event, or you set it to the event start date, which will make uh, MailChimp only see it as a new event once uh, for that date and then not send it again. So I'll specify the event start date just to explicitly have it only send once, once that event is within the next two days. And then basically if you go next, you pick a design, you add the event in again using that uh, same MailChimp merge tags we just used before, you'll be able to create uh, reminders two days before the events, for example. And that's it. That's so you can use event calendar newsletter to automate reminders and inject and embed events within your campaigns.